What's up? Ranger in 567A here, and welcome back to Skyrim. Huh, I forgot what it was called for a second. Alright, yep. Uh, it's, it's, it's cold outside. It's, it's raining. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's time to play some motherfucking Skyrim. Alright. Anyways, alright, sorry. I know, I'm not used to, I'm not, I'm not used to for as enthusiastic. Uh, I don't know I'm today. I don't know why. So, I think I'm just like, you know. Tired. I mean, I, I I literally record these videos like an hour after I wake up, which isn't uh, the best thing to do if you're trying to at least make uh, you know decent content. But yeah, well, anyways, alright, yo. So today or last week, we actually finished up um, the Thief Hill quest line, <clears throat> and we got the crew back together finally. And so, as usual, we'll just be going around Skyrim, just doing some. Uh, you know, just some, just some local work, you know, uh, not, nothing too fancy, and then after, like, maybe, like, a month or so, we'll go back and play our next, like, main storyline, um, so yeah, anyways, uh, so there is a quest that I actually have never done before, because I always avoid the Dwemer Ruins, uh, that is kinda, it's very interesting, but I never s played it, because I've never found it, <clears throat> and it was added during the Dongor DLC, so, uh, hang on, uh, Skyrim, um, Dwemer, one Quest, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm literally just looking this shit up as we go on, uh, because I'm, I'm just trying to find where the fuck it is, uh, okay, so it's called, oh, good luck, uh, Ark, Arknathum, Nom, Arknathum, whatever the fuck, alright, so anyways, uh, let's see, it's supposed to be, be if this fucking asshole would not cover my entire screen with an advertisement. Uh, okay, so it's supposed to be. Oh, it's just one right here. Oh, literally pointed to me. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. Alright, so looks like we got a little ways to go. Not bad, not bad. So let's go ahead and go. Uh, got some coffee. Hell yeah. Yep. Woke up a little bit this uh, morning, like a little nasally today, so I don't know if, um, if I. You know, if that's just the first line of me getting sick, or is my sinuses just kicking in? I don't know. I mean, I love fall, but that also means allergy seasons. Uh, or, it, or is it spring? I mean, my allergies kick in like when the weather like just drastically changes, so uh, it really doesn't matter. I get two allergy seasons a year, basically. Oh, looks like we just doing a Burning Man concert. Alright. Uh, okay, so I remember last week, too, I said that I wanted to start, uh, focusing on, um, you know, getting fucking, I can't think right now, man, whew, uh, I remember last week, I, wa I want to focus on getting my magical bar higher, just so we can start, uh, doing some of our new conjuration spell Who's stuff. There? Where is he? I'm not gonna die Hello? Like this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to summon a Daedra. Okay, well, I guess I have a magic that does not work into my inventory. Awesome. That's exactly what I was hoping to start the game off with. Alright, um, let's see what else. Oh shit, we just get the bad bow. Uh, you know, it's funny though, like we're just trying to do our magic and everyone's just, and everyone's dead. Yeah, good job guys. That's, that's, that's some great A teamwork there. So, nice one. Um, speaking of words, where is everyone? So, alright, this is our go. Um, who are these guys? Wait, are these the Vigilance of Stendar? They can't be real. Oh. Such colors. Oh, thank you. You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. You seem too nice. You sound too nice to be a Daedra worker hunter. And secondly, I thought all the all the vigilant died from the uh, from the attack at the beginning of the Dawnguard DLC. But oh well, screw me. Right. Interesting. This is an unmarked bandit camp. Let me go ahead and take another sip of my coffee because my goddamn sinuses. Dude, I swear to God, man. <clears throat> Some days, like, it's like, it's, it's, it's just meant to get kicked in the ass. Uh, last week, I believe, 
Uh, I just was not just, I, I just was not feeling it, man. I don't know why. I mean, like, I, w I was feeling good. Nothing sad happened in my life or anything like that, but I was just tired. And, uh, yeah, now, this weekend, oh, let's just get some sinus problems, because, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm human. <laughs> I guess this is just what I got to accept, so. Alright. Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and, uh, turn it to daytime as well. Because, I don't know, I feel like exploring the day, like, it's the morning. I feel like exploring, you know, Skyrim in the morning. Yeah. So. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Uh, well, I guess while we were making our trip over to Arkham, um, so, I guess I can explain, you know, like, what's coming up, what we got going on in, uh, October. Uh, ask, you know, for, like, the fourth time. Oh, Jesus Christ. We can have another bear problem today as well. Um, so, uh, as you all know, October, spookiest month of the season, and also, arguably, the most favored of the entire year. Um, you know, we got some spooky shits going down, uh, obviously, of course, too, we got, um, you know, some spooky games, I, a lot, there's, there's not a lot, this is, this is what kind of weirds me out about PlayStation, though, is that, like, it's October, there's not a lot of horror games on sale, like, there are horror games on sale, but it feels like it was just naturally chosen, it wasn't chosen because it's October, you know, so, there's another orc stronghold here, I've never seen this before. Hello, my brothers! We honor the bravest fighters, but I have seen many types of bravery in my travels. I used to wander the corners of Skyrim like you. I miss those days. Do you miss traveling? I do. There's a freedom the roads give you that the stronghold does not, but I have a place here, and I wouldn't want to dishonor my clan by leaving again like some young pup. Why don't you just travel with us? I couldn't. It would dishonor the place the chief has made for me. I mean, honestly, we don't really need another, like, you know, follower. I mean, we already have a lot. Uh, last thing I want to get, man, is a dog. So, all right. As you wish. I mean, I, I guess I could have persuaded you, but you seem fine here. So what do you do for the stronghold? Me? I'm Borguk's brother. I came back after serving many years in the Legion. By then, Borguk had already become chief, and he welcomed me home as family, not as rival as is tradition. You served in the Legion? I did. I was known as Gorbis Gordushnik in those days, <laughs> in honor of my homeland. Many orcs leave the stronghold to join the Legion. They welcome our skill in battle and smithing, and we welcome a chance to see the world. Cool. Fight well. Hey, you too, man. Congratulations and all. So this stronghold respects strength and You are the hottest alone. looking orc I've seen in the like ever. I am Borguk's favorite wife. He knows my beauty should be praised. Wow, it's Beats like the devs already you. knew. You speak to Borguk, chief of Dushnik Yal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh well, hey, cool. Wow. It's kind of exciting as we go into another uh, orc stronghold. Are you looking to work? The mines are nearby. You bring me ore, I'll give you coin. Do you trade your weapons with any of the cities? Occasionally. But an orc blade is a very personal thing. Anger, regret, pride. All these things are put into our steel. When my daughter last chose to leave the stronghold, I forged a sword to channel all my shame and grief. Honor me with a task, Outlander. Bring the sword to my daughter if you see her. It'll be all she needs to know. Very well. Thank you. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and continue. See, so, yeah, so obviously, as I said, um, yeah, we got spooky games, man, on sale. Okay, man, I gotta uh, say something real quick. Like about like seventy dollar games, because I just realized too that the majority of the games that I've played on this channel this year alone has been like double A games. Um, like they haven't been like the triple A seventy dollar game. Which I don't know, man. I'm still not like completely on board with seventy dollar games because look at the games that are seventy dollars, right? All right? Okay, you have a few exceptions. Okay, God of War. I, 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 I fucking pre-ordered that shit, like, oh, here we are, 
pre-order that shit, right? Like, I mean, I'm down for that. Cause that game is definitely, like, I would've paid like, nine. Who's there? Done and done. As I was saying. Oh shit. What the hell is that? Huh. Anyways, I would've paid like, you know, like $90 for that game. Uh, the first God of War game. Hopefully this game doesn't suck, but we're, we're gonna find out next month. Woo! Can't wait. Anyways, um, but yeah, but then like there are games like Madden, <sighs> Call of Duty, <sighs> like games that come out every year, uh, and that are go. Okay. Anyways, uh, games that comes out like every year, uh, that are like they they want fucking seventy dollars for it. God damn. And these premium editions are going up for like eighty bucks and stuff like that. Um. Oh shit, I think I just activated a trap. Oh, okay. Oh, that's just the sound effect of getting a dwarven. Alright, cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, man. It's So, like, I, I, I think the double A games, like Metal Hellsinger, Sherlock Holmes, stuff like that, they're going like 40, 50, 60 bucks and stuff like that. I think, like, at first I thought, oh, they're cheaper. Like, oh, uh, they must not be as good as $60 games, so I don't want it, you know? That was my mental process, like, years ago, but now it's like, I walk over. Back before it's too late. What the fuck is that? Could you shut up? Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. J shut up, ghost lady! I'm trying to talk about video games here, bro. <laughs> uh, anyways. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, you know, this is actually, like, I mean, it, it is kind of creepy. So I guess this is a good quest to start in October. But, uh, ooh. but yeah, anyways, yeah, that's just my opinion, though. So, I think double-A games are starting to become the way to go. So, what the? I thought that was a big rock monster for a second. <laughs> Forming. Uh, guys? 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 What are you still doing here? Um. Let me guess. You're here for the treasure, aren't you? Just like all the others. Um, who are you? The name's Katria. I am, was, an adventurer. Raided ruins like this for nigh on 20 years. I was on the trail of something big. It led me here, and I didn't make it. How does your name sound familiar? Oh, you read the book, didn't you? The Ethereum Wars. Uh, sure. That was my theory, you know. My research, my life's work, all of it lost. Stolen by my own damn apprentice. That's how I ended up here. I can't rest. Not until I find the forge. Until I can prove that it was my discovery. Mine, not his. But it's hopeless. I died here, just like all the others. Turn back. Turn back before you become the next victim. Huh. First off, fam, have you, do, do, do you see my crew, alright? We've been through some, we've been through some shit, alright? I think we can handle this. Hmm, maybe so. Then again, I thought I could too. Yeah, but this is one of you. I mean, come on, we got like five of us. I? I know, I know. I was just like you once. Were you? Well, if you want to reach the summit, you're going to need some help. You want a hand? Uh, having a ghost follower wouldn't be so bad. I'm kind of cool. Sure. All right. Lead on, then. Could you uh, explain what these trimmers are? You need something? Uh, any dangers I should be aware of? Well, there's the Falmer to start with. Deadly rapids, major <clears throat> earthquakes, massive chasms, unstable ground, lethal falls. And then you get to the real danger. We can discuss that when the time comes. If it comes. Huh. Alright, fair enough. Uh, so... What the hell happened to this place? It wasn't always like this. Best preserved dwarven city I'd ever laid eyes on. And then, the earthquake hit. Now, you'd be lucky to find a single room intact. How did you die? I... fell. When the earthquake hit, the ground just opened up. 
Even so, I almost made it. Another foot or two to the side and the water would have broken my fall, but nothing I could do. Damn. Imagine being a ghost knowing how you died. <laughs> that, I'm sorry. That had to make you remind you of the uh, worst part of your life. Oh! Alright. Let's see if I actually have the Ethereum Wars in my... Uh... Yep, I do. Alright, let's go ahead and read up on this. See what we got here. Um, and try to understand where Katra comes from. The Ethereum Wars by Terran Dreth. Dedicated to Katra, my friend and colleague. The end, when it came, was swift. In the span of three short years, the great dwarven cities of Skyrim, from Markarth to the Velothi Mountains, fell before the armies of the High King. Cities that had held fast against the Nords for over a hundred years crumbled abruptly and without warning. For centuries, scholars have marveled at the sudden collapse of the Dwemer city-states. Even the Nords seemed to have been taken by surprise. Through their the hell? chroniclers, I never heard that word before, uh, were quick to ascribe their success to a King Giller, to King Giller, uh, inspired tactics and the blessing of shore. My research suggests a much different cause. However, in the decades preceding their fall, their fall, the dwarven cities of Skyrim had been decimated by internal disputes and in fighting over a most surprising cause, Ethereum. <laughs> Whew. Sorry. Uh, modern scholars known Ethereum as a rare, luminescent blue crystal found in some Dwemer ruins. Most consider it a little more than curiosity, as it has proven all but impossible to work with. While it has a strong magical aura, it is alchemically inert and no one and no known process can enchant smelt mold bind or break it to the dwarves of course such problems were merely a challenge in the years following king harold's reign the dwemer discovered a considerable source of ethereum in their deepest delvings an alliance of four cities led by oh, come on art arc nicknames uh arknathams I'm just, oh, that probably, that's how you said it right there, there. Arknathoms, uh, the great research center in the southern reach was formed to oversee its extraction, processing, and study in a new Ethereum forge. Ooh, constructed to smelt it under precisely controlled condition. If the inscriptions I discovered are to be believed, the results were nothing short of spectacular. The items produced by the forge were artifacts of immense power, imbued from the moment of their creation with powerful enchantments. The Dwarven Alliance shattered almost immediately, as the four city-states and their rival attempted uh, to claim the forge. We can only speculate that none were successful. Decades of conflict merely weakened them all, allowing for King Giller's subsequent conquest, and through the Dwemer reclaimed most of their lands uh, a century later, there is no evidence that they ever resumed their research on Ethereum. Perhaps the cost had just been too great. But nothing like the Ethereum forge described in the inscriptions has ever been found within the borders of Skyrim. It may have been destroyed long ago by the Nord invaders or the Dwemers themselves, or perhaps it, it or perhaps it, like the secrets of Ethereum itself still remains to be discovered. Well, here we are, bitches. So, all right. Uh, so, yeah, this just pretty much just talks about um, just the mystery that of the dungeon that we're in. Um, so yeah, all right, give me one second. Um, all right. So I just had to uh, send a text message. All right. Well, there we go. So, interesting, I was actually kind of expecting, um, that's cool, I've never seen an NPC just, like, sit on the lights before, so I'm looking so cool. the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Fair enough. Alright. Yeah, but ha you haven't been in this cave, alright, come on now. This is, this, this is kind of cool, right? Alright. Um, I mean, it's, it's starting off interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm quite interested, I mean, how many dungeons do you actually go 
where a ghost wants to be your friend. <laughs> I don't know, man. So she doesn't seem annoying so far. Um. Fair enough. Um. Oh look, there's your theory words right there in case you uh you guys need a copy. I mean, okay, I do want this, and I want that, uh, and I want that. Katya journal. Uh, you know what, Katya? Uh, I, I mean, I just want to do something real quick. <laughs> really? You had to take the armor? Come on, leave me with a little dignity. Alright, alright, let me just put your, the armor back on your corpse. I mean, I don't actually need it. Uh, you know, honestly, hang on a second. Can we actually... No. Alright. Now I got a better idea. Alright. Go with the flow. Haha, <laughs> see what in there? Go with the flow, because uh, they're going through uh, water. So, okay. I'm sorry, Katya. I know I'm an asshole. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and uh, read up on Katya's journal as well. See what we got here. Uh, here we go. Alright. This kind of reminds me of Nate's journal from uh, Uncharted. The, like, the drawings, of course, not all this shit. Alright. 17th of Sun Height. Damn that scheming elf. Damn him. He steals my notes, my discovery, and publishes it under his name. Ooh, talking about the Ethereum War book that we just read. 20 years of my life spent digging through those ruins, and what do I get? A dedication? Friend and colleague, my arse. <laughs> me arse? She's just mocking me. Why did they say arse, by the way? Like, come on, you can say ass. She, she's clearly not, like, English, you know? Like, she has a very sad American accent. So, and I mean sad as in, like, she, like, sounds really depressed. But, I mean, I wouldn't be excited, enthusiastic, too, if I was a ghost. Just saying. Alright, well, I'll have the last laugh. Teron may have my theory, but he doesn't have any proof. Not yet. If I can find the forge first, I can show the world this is my discovery. Mine, not his. Fourth of last seed. I've got a lead. One of the moldy old books in Mzund mentioned the forge. Wound through and through, but I was able to copy down a few scraps, including a map of the first era of Dwemer Kingdoms. Need to cross reference it with modern borders when I get back. Here's the result. Ark and thumbs. Uh, this one, Ark and Ark. Crap. I'm just gonna call it the Ark, alright? Alright, this one, Ark, was on the inscription too. Apparently, the main Ethereum Research Center seemed like the place to start. Okay. Ah, so yeah, so look, so I bet that all those are all like Dwemer ruins. Right, mentioned as Betharzel. Adelaide City, not Bathardems though. Uh, looks like a smallest site north and northwest of here on the river. The primary source of Ethereum extracted from deeper mine, for some deeper mine, okay. A storage site for raw Ethereum, just outside a major city. Apparently it had to be kept outside because Ethereum was harmonically volatile. Five, no name. No identifying information, but page after page of ruined diagrams couldn't make out much. But it looks like an astrolabe, ast I'm sorry, astrolabe, a gear, some sort of crest in four pieces. Could this be the location of the forge? Something important at least. 22 to laugh Steve. Ark, my map may be rough, but it was enough to get me here. There may be something to this after all. 23rd of last seed. Reach the treasury. There's a tunnel lock here. Still active. Judging from the corpse, it's safe to say the traps are still active too. Couldn't find any clues, so I'll make a sketch and work through this carefully. Five resonators. Five tones. Just have to hit them in the right order. Let's see. Okay. So there's one. There's two. Okay. Okay, so the middle one has to be four. Hmm, interesting. All right, 
we'll figure it out when the time comes. Uh, I say that we're kind of smart. I mean, we played a lot of Sherlock Holmes, and how we're playing an investigation game now, so. Uh, the Sinking City. So, which admittedly, like, the Sinking City is definitely not, like, hard when it comes to Detective, and I think it's, like, because they're trying to balance out the action and, like, the Detective, because it, the Sinking City is way more action than, uh, Detective work. Um, which is fine. Like I said, I mean, I, I kind of want something different, you know. Uh, after playing, going through like three whole Sherlock Holmes games, um, like I, I honestly, I, I, I can take a break from. Uh, I can take a easy break from uh, you know the detective work and all that stuff. So yeah, I didn't even know that uh, Frogware made uh, Second City uh, until you know we started playing. So I'm like, well, I'm in the shit now. I will finish it. Oh come on, video game! There we go. I was gonna say you can't, you can't fucking uh, tease me like that. I want whatever that is. All right. While we are here, uh, what is this thing I have to get as well? Ten cogs. Okay, so we need to look for cogs as well. Uh, damn it! Damn it! There we go. All right. Watch yourself. Since the quake, this place has been pretty unstable. Oh shit. Ow. I don't imagine you die, right, Katria? I mean, you're already dead, but, like, I don't want you to be, like, dead dead. There we go. Alright. I mean, I doubt it, but it would be insane if we can actually have Katria as a permanent follower, like, a ghost follower. Dude, that would be fucking awesome. Like, I'd love to have her, like, in our party. I know I just said, you know, to the orc guy, well, we got, like, too many people, but, you know, which, where the fuck is everyone? Uh, guys? Oh. Hey, yo, come on! Like, it's not summer. Like, let's not play around here. Yeah. Come on, injured. Yep, you too, Serrano, I know. The water might be great and fine, but like we got work to do. Okay, she's disappeared to a dead body. Dude, you look like a fucking like, shark the way you just like just came out of the water like that. Okay. Uh, well, they are super bugged. <laughs> Crap. Oh, that's not too good. Damn. Uh, wow, this is gonna suck if we gotta do this alone. Okay, so is here at least. Alright, let's just go for four hours, see if everybody will catch up with us. Okay. Alright, cool, everyone's here. Let's go! them like like waiting for me to set off a trap so they can go guys come on about to say like this dungeon is not made to have a party dwarves just hit them and they'll do what they're supposed to do like that You know, I used that expression too, but I use rats because it sounds more, uh, well, normal? I don't know. You say rats, roaches, flies. You come from? Shadow Master. What a nerd play Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, 
to like start uh, use that like a little too much to make one of our seriously. And quick save there just so we don't screw ourselves and uh, have one of our allies fight uh, one another. Oh wow, that guy was above us this entire time. That's the the entrance over there. I really want to know what these earthquakes are, man. Cause, like they are making themselves well known. So yourself, earthquake, come at me too. So. I'll say. I mean. Like, usually I avoid dr Dwemer Ruins because they're so boring as hell, but... Fucking John Wick just dodging all my shits right now. Okay. Uh, are you guys just gonna? Okay. Y you guys are probably really pissed off that I've been like you guys <laughs> got all the kills. You must be thinking that oh, you look at this jack. I can't even do anything. Why well, you get the kill? I wonder. I just I just wonder. Okay. Now something comes out of that thing. There's like multiple directions you want to go. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, I don't think that would kill him, though. That would make him go on a long trip, though. Nice. Move. 
Horses that was already ours. Got your fucking enemy guy. I can't tell because there's just too many enemies around us right now. Okay. Oh, sorry. You know, if anything I've, I've realized about Master Difficulty, though, is that it does drag out the fucking battle forever. Um, there you go. There you go. Okay, I don't think... No, I think not. I'm gonna try to uh, speed this one up. You know, I kinda wish the camera animations were better, but that looked kinda cool. Alright, I think one of them, one of them ran away. I can't tell. Alright, whatever. Alright, uh, actually, I wanna go back here real quick and explore this area. See if there's anything of uh, juicy entrance. Entrance. Juicy interest. Uh let's see. Oh, that's pretty as hell. I like that. That's pretty. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh Uh Hey, there's my bow. There, out on the log. I wonder what happened. Who is that? Someone's dead. Injured, you fucking dumb bitch. Ah, you're gonna make me restart because you fucking decided to jump off the ledge. Oh, uh, well, you guys already know what happens here.
Alright, are we, are, we, are we all cool now? Like, are we all like friends or something? Like, can we not like turn on each other, please? Jesus Christ. Alright, back to legendary we go. Oh man, that was uh <laughs> quite stressful. So, oh shit. I still want to, I remember I wanted to go over here. Hopefully nobody tries to do a leap of faith off the uh, cliff here and end up going themselves, so. So, I have a thing though, like, if one of my followers do die in battle, I'll just let that be. But not when they just fucking decide to just commit suicide and jump off the ledge. Hey, right, caught you. here's my bow. There, out on the log. What happened to it? What is it? I'm really concerned about your bow, so let's go ahead and see if we can try to get it. Zephyr. Interesting name. Take good care of it for me. Oh, you're le you're lending me your bow. Cool. All right, let's see if there's anything interesting. Fire is 30% faster than instant. Ooh, that's actually like. That, that might not sound a lot, but that's actually pretty good. Yeah, let's see. yeah, the rate of fire, that's actually pretty damn good. Plus, I do not want to use my uh, thing just yet. Alright. Cool. Well, I am down for that. Was that worth the uh, stress and all the sad tears that I let out? No. But I'll take it. That's a reward for it going through all that. Alright, uh, before we go over there, because I actually think this is the progressive way. Wait, progressive. I think this way commits progress. I, I think that's the better term for it. Um, I want to actually go back here and explore what was like, what, what's, what is over here. Um, uh, is there a good one? You okay? <laughs> I just, I just realized that he's been, just been chilling out there like the entire time we were uh, out on that log. This place just goes further and further. Uh, two chests. Ooh. Oh yeah. That sounds cool. Whoa. Uh, hello. What's going on? Goodbye. You know what? That motherfucker probably thought, you know what, this is the coolest way to die. So. Alright. Yeah, that's one thing that I found out that I always found kind of funny in like video games. So, you know how like you jump off a high cliff and you land in the water? This is video game logic, by the way. And, and you know, you just jump in high water uh, from like a really tall cliff and you don't die. Well, kids. Unfortunately, I don't have to hit you with reality, but if you were in real life to jump off from here and land in the water, you're fucking dead. Uh, because the impact that the uh, water, uh, you know, that you'll connect with is enough to shatter your bones into pieces. Um, so, although, like, if you're skydiving and you have a chance to either hit water or hit the ground, I honestly don't know what's better. I mean, you would say you would say water, but you're gonna break your legs, and if you can't like kick your legs, you're gonna have a tough time swimming. But if you're on the ground, though, I mean, the best thing to do is land on your feet. The twin moons. Zargo, that's the first time you actually said something kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, it's better to like, land on your feet, uh, from what I heard. Now, will you survive? Probably not, but. You know, it's better to take a chance on that than uh, just flat out let yourself get taken to the afterlife. If there is one, of course. So, um, I guess no one's home. There's a lot of buttholes out here on the walls, though. And that's a pretty big uh, open area. I feel like something's really evil is going to come out. Your eyes open here. Yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing. Hold up. We need to talk. I mentioned that there was one more danger. Here it is. You know what this is? It's a lock. 
A tonal lock. Simple and very, very deadly. See the resonators up there. Strike them in the right order, and the door should open. Get it wrong, and, well, you've seen what happened when I tried it. Uh, you mean the earthquake? Yeah, I thought I was prepared for anything. How can you prepare for a damned earthquake? And that was just one trap. Look around. Who knows what else this thing is capable of? Any advice? Hmm. Well, you can pick up where I left off. My notes should still be in my journal, if you can read it. Yes, I can read. Beyond that, well, maybe one of our predecessors still has a clue. Uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is actually a very interesting look, isn't it? You got a dude impaled over there. You got skeletons. But blood are still. But there's still blood around. Obviously, there they are dry blood. You got one dude just loaded with uh, arrows. I mean, there's a lot of mystery here. But we'll find that out in the next episode because we are. Well, I mean, I am currently well on time anyway. So, anyways, we will continue this quest tomorrow and figure out the mysteries of this thing. But fucking hell, yo, this dungeon is probably the best drummer dungeon that I've ever experienced. And I'll be honest, I probably only experienced like four different uh, Dwemer dungeons in my entirety of Skyrim. I'm just, I'm just not that interested in them, but uh, this one's cool. Maybe one of our predecessors still has a clue. And plus, Katria is always interesting having a, a ghost with us, so hopefully you'll stick around. Uh, but if not, hey, it's cool meeting you. Anyways, yeah, we'll figure this shit out in the next episode, so uh, oh, I already see a fucking Centurion right on the other side of that gate. Oh, this is bad. Alright, well regardless, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Shut up! Later.